Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for November 11th of 2022, well, it is titled Blood Moon Ice Giant. So what do we see here? Well, here we see two different images of the lunar eclipse, which occurred a few days ago. And on the right hand side, we see the fully eclipsed moon. And that is when the moon passes into Earth's shadow. And most of the light, in fact, all the direct light from the sun is blocked out from striking the moon. This occurs at the instant of full moon. And that's when the moon, Earth and sun are directly aligned. And the moon passes into Earth's shadow. Now it's not completely dark because of our atmosphere and our atmosphere bends some of the light and allows it to sneak into Earth's shadow. The red light is scattered through it better. So the, the shadow of Earth is not completely dark, but is actually immersed in a deep red light. So anything passing through that shadow, which in this case is our moon, would then end up looking a very deep red color. Now if you look just to the right of or sorry just to the left of the moon you might see a tiny dot there and on the second image uh, inset off to the left hand side you can see there is a pale greenish object visible there. This is actually the planet Uranus and it is one of the two outermost planets in the solar system sometimes known as ice giants very large planets much larger than Earth but made mainly of a lot of icy materials as well as some gases so Tom sometimes we look at Jupiter and Saturn as the more gaseous or even liquid planets for their liquidy interiors and the outer planets the two outer ones Uranus and Neptune known as ice giants for their icy composition. Now here we can see how much smaller it looks than our moon. Of course it's many times larger but it is also many many times further away. So we see that very tiny disk there of Uranus as the moon was just about to pass in front of it. An occultation occurs when one astronomical object passes in front of another. So you could think of a solar eclipse as an occultation when our moon passes in front of our sun. Although usually we refer it to when a closer object such as a moon or planet passes in front of a much more distant object such as a more distant planet or a star. And the moon being so large in the sky actually will occult a number of objects from time to time because it is a much larger uh, and doesn't have to be as perfectly aligned to be able to pass in front of those objects. So here we have that image during the middle of the eclipse when the moon happened to just begin to pass right in front of the distant planet Uranus. So that was our picture of the day for November 11th of 2022. It was titled Blood Moon Ice Giant. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Eclipse in the City. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.